What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm Sophie if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. Alright guys, today's video is going to be one that I've waited to make for a while because I knew that I wanted to help people in the position that I'm in. Maybe it won't be that much of a help. I'm still not completely experienced in this expertise of this realm of broadcast yet. I'm actually going to be a reporter for WAND TV in Illinois, so it's central Illinois, and I'm gonna be the bureau reporter for Champaign, which is a city there, where the U where University of Illinois is. So it's a college town, very nice, um, looks beautiful. I've actually never been. Um, and the TV station is located in Decatur, which is about 35, 40 minutes away from Champaign. And I'm gonna be basically the reporter of what's going on in the city of Champaign and all that good stuff. This video is going to be all about how I landed my first TV job. Now, I haven't even started yet, but I think that maybe what I went through in the past couple of weeks, months, especially with the pandemic going on and just trying to get a TV job was very, very difficult, more difficult than I thought it would be. So starting back in January, I knew that I had to start applying for jobs because I was going to graduate in May and I was, I, was, well, I was a senior at the time at the University of Miami studying broadcast journalism. I applied to a bunch of jobs as well as applying to um, the Disney the Disney College program. If you guys have ever heard of it, it's a great program. It lasts about a semester or even a semester and a half. Um, and you get to work for Disney. And I was actually gonna be a character performer. If any of you guys saw that video, I was very excited to be a character performer. Now I'm gonna be doing Fall Advantage 2020. So that's from June 1st to January 7th. And right now we're in March of 2020, so obviously my program hasn't started yet. I have been accepted into the Disney College program as a performer, and I'm gonna be friends with the mouses, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, it's what you think I mean. Yeah, that didn't work out. So I actually did get accepted, and I was gonna be a character performer, and then Disney closed, so that went out the window. But I also had an opportunity from, from NBC6 here in South Florida that I was really, really excited about. So they had asked me to come out and help with writing and scripts and with meeting with talent and basically being a production assistant for the entertainment show, which I was so, so excited for because entertainment is ultimately my goal and entertainment reporting. So what better way to start as an assistant for an entertainment show here in Miami? So I was set that if Disney didn't work out, it's fine, I'm gonna work for NBC6. And unfortunately, due to the pandemic, that also did not work out. And the opportunity was kind of closed to me now. And it was a very frustrating month of March and April for me. Because I went from having my two top jobs that I could possibly ask for and want. It was both dreams, my Disney dream and my broadcast dream. And I had them both. I had the best problem ever, like trying to choose between two dreams. And unfortunately, that you know, wasn't the case. God had other plans. Starting in April, I decided to start applying to jobs all over Florida and I didn't get any interviews. I just got a bunch of rejection or just didn't hear back at all. And then after I applied to basically every job in Florida and on TV, I decided to go and expand my horizons and apply all over the United States. The only two states I didn't apply to were North Dakota and South Dakota because I just didn't see myself there. In total, I've applied to 153 jobs all around the US for TV, being a reporter or an anchor or a host, everything. You name it, I applied for it. I hate to say it, but no one called me back. No one. I had one interview from it and I could quickly tell that the station wanted someone with experience, so they decided to not go through with my application. But that's pretty much the only people that called me back. So I began to pray and I began to say, God, I really need a job, please help me out. Like any job, like please, anything on TV. And one day, even though I had applied to 153 different jobs all around the US, I saw that I had an email from a station in Central Illinois that they found me through YouTube and they wanted to give me an interview. We just talked, the news directors were amazing. They're both females, women, like, woman empowerment like that's amazing to me it's very important to me as well um, and they reached out to me and I find it so ironic that I, I looked and I searched for every single job possible but then the job actually came to me and it 
it just goes to show how you can put so much effort into something but it's not until the right timing and not until the universe wants you to have that job or that opportunity or whatever the case may be that's gonna fall into your lap without you really realizing it and without you knowing that it's gonna fall into your lap so yeah that's pretty much the whole reason I wanted to make this video is because I was so discouraged and so annoyed that I'm constantly applying to all these jobs and that I had great reviews from places that I worked like from the place that I interned at from my professors everything was going the way it was supposed to but no one wanted to hire me part of because of the pandemic another part because I didn't have experience another part maybe they just didn't like my style of storytelling or my style of talking to people and you know it was really 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 frustrating um, I had many days where I just thought about changing my career path even though it was only three four months of applying those three four months took a toll on me just because I really had my mindset on those two opportunities I had back in March so I just wanted to say the story as a as just words of encouragement and knowing that whatever is meant to be for you whatever is meant to happen in your life it's gonna happen whether you ask for it or not or whether you constantly search for it or not obviously you have to put your part and you have to you know and you have to try as well don't think that things are just gonna fall in and by you sitting home watching Netflix all day I strongly believe that God saw how many jobs I was applying to and how many opportunities I really wanted and he saw the perfect time to say hey I got one for you and he put that on my lap really excited it, like I said, Champaign looks like a beautiful town and it's a college town so I'm very excited to be around people my age and uh, all that good stuff. So subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, share, send to anyone who might need words of encouragement while they're trying to apply for new jobs. This goes for any job, not just a broadcast TV job, but take whatever you need from this video and put it into terms with your own life and your own um, goals. Thank you guys again for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you. See you next time.